Students, parents, and an entire school district are once again having to go through a situation they thought they had put behind them. For the second time in a matter of months, Carol ISD is confronting a racist video that was posted online. New at 10 o'clock, Marianne Martinez, live for us in South Lake tonight to pick it up from there. Marianne? The mayor is coming out with a very strong message saying she is angry, Doug, because this entire community thought they had taken steps after the first racist video surfaced last fall. The mayor says obviously what they thought that they were doing to prevent this from happening isn't working. Oh my God! Yes, I can say more! <laughs> Recorded in a car with four high school students away from school, two Carroll ISD students are in this offensive video. The South Lake kids are the girls seen here and the driver of the car who is not seen. The other two teenagers are not students at Carroll ISD. Number one, the word's unacceptable. But number two, it's indicative of a bigger problem. The mayor of South Lake decided to speak out after she says she learned the video was being circulated by students in South Lake. I think it's time that parents have the tough conversation and we look at each other and say we need to be doing a better job. Mayor Hill says she's been mentoring a group of high school students since the first racist video surfaced in November. That one was posted online and featured a group of girls chanting a racist slur. Unfortunately, this is not our first video that we have dealt with. After the first video, Carol ISC says it went to great lengths to punish students involved as severely as possible and to teach others why that behavior is offensive and unacceptable. None of the students involved in the first video are involved in the second video. We're going to have to teach our kids this is not something that they, racism and making racist comments and um, the types of mistakes they're making are very serious mistakes that are hurtful to other people. And I think we need to help them understand the consequences, but I don't think it's going to happen overnight. And Doug, the student most prominently featured in that video did issue an apology online. Now, meanwhile, Carol ISD says it can't comment specifically on the punishments of the two students that they have that were featured in that video, but nobody was expelled. Reporting live from South Lake, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.